SwitchBot has launched two devices that is the Meter Pro and the Meter Pro with CO2 monitor. Both the devices show temperature, humidity, time and date and are powered by two AA batteries. The Meter Pro with CO2 monitor can measure carbon dioxide in the air and also has the option to be powered by a USB cable. Now these devices can run completely offline and it provides Bluetooth connectivity. You can always connect this to your phone via Bluetooth and get the data. It also has the option such that you can export the entire data stored on the device as a CSV file. Now both the devices have a local storage of about 40 days of sensor data. And if you want, you can choose to upload the data to the SwitchBot cloud for free and it would be retained for about two years. Now for this, you would need a SwitchBot hub like the Hub 2. With this hub, you can not only connect the Meter Pro, but also all the devices in the SwitchBot ecosystem. It also has a temperature and humidity sensor and it shows these values on the display. Now this is a matter based hub and you can connect it to any smart home ecosystem via the matter integration. Now let's look at the various customization that you can do for the meter pro devices using the app. So once you select your meter pro, you get this first option wherein it shows you whether you want the data to be uploaded to the SwitchBot cloud. You can select it here to store the data in the cloud or else you can dismiss this. Next, let's go into the settings and we are going to look into the panel display. Now here you can adjust how the time is supposed to be shown. Like you can select 24 hour format or you can select the 12 hour format. Then you can adjust the temperature and humidity source. Like here I have another meter pro with me. I can select that as a source. I can also change this to show the temperature and humidity sensor data from the hub to Currently, I'm setting it to the current meter itself. Then I can change the data update intervals, which is currently set to five minutes for the temperature and humidity. Whereas for CO2, you need to make sure that the monitor is connected using a power cord such that you can update the frequency at which the carbon dioxide sensor measures. Then let's look at the panel icon. So here we can indicate whether the temperature and humidity, if it belongs to outdoor or indoor sensors. Then finally, we have this weather forecast information information now it shows you this weather forecast depending on the location that you have set in order to set the location you have to go back to this profiles here then go to manage homes and here you need to set your location now depending on the location it will show you the icon in the left hand top corner now let's go back to the settings here and now here we are going to look at the co2 level settings now inside this you get to see the ranges of co2 which are good moderate and poor now you can change this level as per how you want it and then this will show you an indicator on the screen depending on the CO2 levels here. Now let's look at the alert conditions. We can turn on some alerting through sound and light like we are going to set here to flash as well as make some sound like let's take for example we set a temperature alert such that it starts alerting if the temperature goes like below 34 degrees and if you see it flashes here as well as it makes this sound that you can now dismiss this alert by pressing the top button so this is how you can set some alerting conditions in the similar way you can set an alert for humidity carbon dioxide concentration alert etc now let's look at this comfort levels now in this comfort levels you can set the comfortable temperatures and the humidity range that you want so right now if I change the comfort level from 16 to 29 and currently it is 22 degrees then when I hit save this indicator from the comfort moves away similarly when it comes to the humidity if I set the range of humidity such that it is higher than the current level you see it shows that it is dry similarly if I drop the maximum level of humidity below the current one it then shows an indicator on the wet level now you can pair the meter pro with an external monitor that measures the temperature and humidity outside your apartment and then you can view the readings inside the meter pro now here there is one difference between the normal meter pro and the one with the co2 sensor the meter pro with the co2 monitor can display only one set of temperature and humidity values at a time while the normal meter pro can display two sets of temperature and humidity values at the same time that is you can select the indoor as well as outdoor sensor values to be displayed simultaneously now in terms of connectivity you can connect it to home assistant apple home and google home using the matter integration now for that you will need the hub to add it to the switchbot app such that the meter pro can be shared as a matter device via the hub. 
Let's look at integrating these devices via Matter in Home Assistant. In the SwitchBot app, open the Hub 2 and then go to Settings and then click on Matter Setup here. Now, once you do that, you get this QR code which you have to scan using the Home Assistant app. Once you do that, then we have to add the devices that we want to share as Matter devices. Like here, I'm adding the Meter Pro, the Meter Pro with CO2 and the Outdoor Meter. Now, once you do that, you can open the integration for Matter and then here you get to see the SwitchBot Hub 2. Now, on opening this, you get to see the three devices that are connected via the hub. Like the outdoor meter, here you get the temperature and humidity, then the temperature and humidity sensor for the meter pro and the one with the CO2 monitor. But if you see here, you don't get to see the CO2 levels here. This is because right now matter does not support CO2 measurements. For this, what we have to do is we have to integrate SwitchBot Cloud for this. So head over to SwitchBot integration and click on the SwitchBot Cloud. Now here you need to specify the API key and the API token from the app. So open the app, go to profiles, click on preferences and then click on about here and here click 10 times on the app version which will enable developer options. Now inside the developer options you will get to see the API key and the API token. Enter those and then after that the SwitchBot cloud is integrated. Once you open this, you get to see all the three devices that is the hub, the pro and the CO2 monitor and inside this here you can see the carbon dioxide level, the temperature and the humidity. Similarly, once you add the hub to the Apple Home or Google Home, the Meter Pro sensors also get added. Now you can buy these devices from the SwitchBot website or Amazon. The Meter Pro costs 35 euros while the Meter Pro with CO2 monitor costs 70 euros with currently an offer of 20% discount on the price. I keep on making videos around how you can make things smart at home. So make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as hit that like button for more such videos to come. Till then, take care and I will see you in my next one.